here we are going to listen and to watch the different activities of this week. Remember that we are going to work with pages 25, 26, and 27. Yes? Now, pay attention. On page 25, we have this key that is the lines of research. What is research? Remember that research is a synonym of investigation. So, lines of investigation. Good. So, we have to know this. Do you know the name of the other outstanding citizens apart from Benjamin Franklin? Do you know any other or any kind of different quotations? Remember that the quotations like this. There is something important and also they are specific words that an important person said in the past for example benjamin franklin said an investment in knowledge pays the best interests and it says also tell me and i forget teach me and i remember involve me and i learn good those are the quotations something specific that the person said before now on page 25 we are going to develop this kind of workshop we have this point number three choose the correct answer for each question the first one what was benjamin franklin's first job we are going to look for this we are going to research on google on another website and we are going to investigate about the benjamin franklin's life good we're going to choose of this then why did franklin never apply for a patent so you're going to tell me remember you're going to check or to cross the correct answer good the same with the number three What did Franklin want his guide experiment to prove? What was the idea of the experiment with the guides? Good. And number four. Why is Franklin's T-chart structure important? Good. So you are going to choose what is the correct answer here. Then on, page, on the same page, we are going to go to the point number four. In small groups, match the parts of the sentences to complete the Benjamin Franklin's quotes. So, remember the quotation mark here. By failing to prepare, <laughs> we are going to research, we are going to investigate on websites, on different books that we have about these different quotations that Benjamin Franklin said when he was alive good so we are going to discuss our opinions our questions our comments about benjamin franklin's life next on the page 26 we are going to learn this kind of topic by reading we are going to read how is it read we are going to read letter by letter word by word paragraph by paragraph And we're going to comprehend, to understand the complete text here. And we are going to answer these kind of questions. Number one, what is the highest place on earth? And what's the highest one in your city? So, what is the highest place in the earth, in the planet earth? And what's the highest one in your city? So, in our case, it's going to be Bogotá. Good. And number two, what was the hottest temperature of on Earth? And what's a hot temperature in your city? What is the hottest? Oh, whew, there is too hot today or this place on the Earth. But here, what is the hottest or what is a hot a hot 
temperature here in Bogota? What is the, the highest degree of the temperature that we have reached? We are going to research, we are going to investigate. Good. Then on number two, underline the correct words in parentheses to complete the sentences. So we have different sentences here, but we are going to choose in that case in between the, the two words that we have in parentheses we are going to choose just one in this case largest or smallest we are going to comprehend the complete sentence and we are going to choose just one only one for example mercury is a good mercury is the largest or the smallest planet and jupiter is the largest or the smallest so I choose just one. The same with the point number two, number three, and number four. Then on page 27, we are going to read this box. Superlative adjectives are used to compare three or more things. They compare something that is noun to the highest degree. Many are formed by the adding the article J and the suffix EST. For example, as we have studied before, the coldest place, the coldest temperature, the largest city. No, notice that this J, EST, when the, uh, the adjective is short, and the object. Longer adjectives need to watch the most before them to come superlatives for example look at this this is not the the intelligentest no 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 we say the most intelligent person or the most beautiful bitch good on number three we are going to do this transform the following adjectives to superlative forms we are going to go with this <coughs> this adjective we are going to to transform to change in a superlative what is healthy the healthiest or the more healthy you are going to look for this be careful and research about this the same ha thing happens with athletic funny intelligent energetic and nice good remember here is with superlatives then on the point number four, complete the sentences using words in parentheses into superlatives. We are going to go with that word, we are going to change it with a superlative. For example, I'm going to help you with this. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Good. So you are going to go with the point number two, three and four. Yes, this point is going to, to be done on class. Finally, we are going to go, we can reach this page, that is going to be the page 28. We are going to read A Dream Within a Dream by Edgar Allan Poe. Then answer the questions. Not all answers require complete sentences. Go with this. We are going to participate by reading this, in, uh, by practicing the intonation, pronunciation, yes, and the fluency. Then when we read this poem about, or uh, by Edgar Allan Poe, we are going to answer different questions like this. We are going to answer the question number one. How many sections does this part of the poem have? Good. Number two. What words rhyme in the second section? Three. Listen carefully to the poem as it is read. Describe the beat of the poem. What mode does the poem create? And the last question is going to be what story do you imagine with this poem? Tell me, what kind of a story can you imagine 
by reading that story, that poem. Just about a dream within a dream. I didn't get another poem. Okay, guys. This is going to be the activity for this week. Now, we are going to practice with the pronunciation and fluency in terms of English language learning. Okay, guys. See you. Bye-bye.